15 grams of pure diamorphine can create 2,200 straws of heroin. This gives 300 addicts one straw per day for one week. 300 lives destroyed with a rippling effect on 100 small lives around them. Drug users globally has gone up from 180 million to 210 million in the last 10 years. Somewhere between 100 to 263,000 people die due to drugs. Mean age of the deaths, mid-30s. We are seeing greater quantities of methamphetamines and heroin being trafficked through Southeast Asia. This has worsened the regional drug situation, with a significant number of clandestine laboratories operating in East and Southeast Asia. Just in 2009 and 2010, 61 laboratories were seized in Indonesia and 27 in Malaysia. The drug problem in our immediate vicinity is very real. Singapore's checkpoints are among the busiest in the world. Our officers maintain vigilance to prevent drug trafficking and the smuggling of illegal items. In 1975, tougher laws and penalties were introduced to strengthen Singapore's drug control regime, including the imposition of the death penalty for those trafficking significant amounts of drugs. Under the Misuse of Drugs Act, any person found importing, exporting or being in possession of more than the following quantities of drugs faces the death sentence. We are, frankly speaking, one of the few countries where the drug menace has been fought reasonably successfully. And I emphasize reasonably because this is not a fight you can say you have won. And you can easily lose it. Drug abusers have gone down since 1994. There's no substantive production here. Couriers think twice before they try their luck. They try to keep below the threshold for capital punishment. Drug prices in Singapore are comparatively high. Purity levels comparatively low. The death penalty has been an important part of our criminal justice system for a very long time, similar to the position in a number of other countries. Singaporeans understand that the death penalty has been an effective deterrent and an appropriate punishment for very serious offences and largely supported. November 14, 2012. The Singapore Parliament passes important amendments relating to the use of the death penalty in drug trafficking cases. For drug trafficking, the court will have the discretion to decide whether to impose a sentence of life imprisonment and caning or the death sentence if too tightly defined and specific conditions are met. The drug trafficker plays only the role of a courier and either substantively assists the authorities or suffers from an abnormality of mind. The mandatory death penalty will continue to apply to drug traffickers in all other circumstances. The aim of the substantive assistance condition is to enhance the operational effectiveness of the CNB by allowing investigators to reach higher into the hierarchy of drug syndicates. Couriers do play a key role in the drug network. Illicit drugs are not manufactured or grown in Singapore because of our tough laws and enforcement. All our drugs, therefore, have to be couriered into Singapore. They are our main link with the suppliers, the kingpins outside Singapore. The changes aim to destabilize organized crime syndicates involved in drug trafficking activities. Our intent is to make things as difficult as possible for the syndicates and to keep them and drugs out of Singapore. If we are able, to get substantive information that enables us to disrupt the networks, we will have gained in our war on drugs. The death penalty is part of a comprehensive framework to fight the drug menace.
Concurrently, education, early intervention for young drug abusers, a tough drug rehabilitation regime and strict border controls all play a part in building a stronger defence against drugs. Over the years, our tough criminal justice system and the death penalty have played an important role in keeping the crime and drug situation in Singapore under control. Without the deterrent effect of our tough laws, the destructive consequences to society would be far-reaching. What is never in the headlines is the number of lives that have been lost, the number of children who are orphaned, either literally or through their parents being in jail, the amount of sadness and uh, impact on the social fabric of society that those who are on the ground see every day. In 2006, a two-year-old girl was murdered by her stepfather. He was a marijuana smoker and a cough syrup abuser. He admitted to slapping her and drowning her in a pail of water. He is a victim, she is a victim of the drug traffickers and the drug lords. The question for this house is, how many noi noise do you want? We do need to show mercy and compassion to the traffickers. But at the same time, we also need to show mercy and compassion to the noi noise of this world. war is still on. We must continue to have the determination and resolve to take the measures needed, tough but unfortunately necessary ones, to keep our streets free from drugs and ensure that Singapore remains a safe, secure home for ourselves and our children. <laughs>